Hello there everyone, my name is Crazy Caleb, and welcome to 3 LEDs. This is the way the module look, it's got 3 LEDs, some of them might be lit up, and some of them might be not. Um, in this case though, what we have here is we have those 3 LEDs, and a center button in the middle. So, as I just described, the module has 3 LEDs in the, center with a, uh, in the center with a small black button between them, that is basically our cement button. So, each of them may be colored white, red, green, blue, or uh, yellow, and maybe in an on or off state. Clicking an LED will toggle its current state. To solve the module, what we need to do is we need to put the LED, each LED into the correct state, and it's very simple to do so. So, uh, to determine the LED's correct state, figure out if the initial states of the LEDs are in the table below where black is off and white is on. So what we want to do is we want to first check if this current state that it's in right now, the state that it generates as, is in this table below here. And if it is, which in this case it is with all three of them being on, what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, take a look at what we have here. Uh, follow the rules below the table. So in this case, what we have here is a series of rules for each of the LED's possible colors. And now what we're going to do is we're going to look at each of them. So if an LED is red or blue, its correct state is the state that is in the LED's position in the picture above or below the initial in the table. So basically what's going to happen here is we're going to move above or below and we're going to take a look at that state in that initial position and we're going to turn it on or off based off of whatever color it is. So we're currently in the bottom right, so we're going to go up once. And now what we're going to do is for the blues, we're going to take a look and see that they are both black in the top and, bo and bottom right. So we're going to turn them off. And the red as well is going to be the up or down bit. So we're going to keep this one on and just like that as a solved module. So now let's take a look at this next uh, stage. Let's take a look at what we have here. All three of these are off, as you can see. So now do we have all three blacks uh, on one of these six positions here? Uh, we do not. So now, in this case, what we need to do is we now need to do a special condition for this module. So otherwise, we're going to take each digit in the serial number, and if there any numbers are greater than or equal to three, we're simply going to subtract three until they are not. So let's take a look. So we've got five, eight, and two. So now what we're going to do is we're going to subtract three to each of these until they're until they're in the range. So we've got um, that's going to become five. This is going to become a two. This is going to become two, and then we're going to add one to each of these digits. So three, three, and three. Interestingly enough, all the exact same. Then add one to each digit and assign each LED with, with the numbers one through three in reading order. Uh, and toggle each LED based on the digits received from the serial number in any order. So what this essentially means is that we're going to be doing uh, each of the toggles here from each number. So we're simply just going to be pressing three, 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 three times. And just like that is a dissolved module. Very simple. And now let's take a look at our last example here. Um, so we've got the top on, so top would be white, and the bottom two are on and off. Now, um, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to actually get some more colors because we did not get anything else. Uh, I would like to show off what the rest of the colors actually do. So let's see if we can get that again. Okay. All right. So bottom left and bottom right are on. Let's see what we got here. Um, bottom left and bottom right are on right here. There we go. So now we're going to follow the rules below the table. Um, in this case, blue uh, is going to be a uh, correct state or above or below. So above in that position is going to be white. So that's going to be on. Uh, above in that position for red is going to be a white as well. So that's going to stay on. And for white, uh, if, the, if an LED is white, its correct state is the opposite of the initial state. So it simply means just toggle, basically. Just like that is a solved module. Next up, we've got um, the top and bottom left uh, on. So let's see if we have that present. Um, and it appears that we do not. So that's not going to be one of our colors. And now we're going to do the serial number case again. So let's have a look. So we've got 907. So 907. Okay. So, um, and if any numbers are greater than or equal to 3, we're simply going to subtract 3. So this is a multiple of 3, so we're going to get to 0. Uh, then we're going to do four and then one, and then we're going to get from this one, one, and two. So now from this position, we're going to toggle one, one, and then we're going to toggle two. Just like that, this is all module. And then finally, for this last one here, we've got, uh, we've got this red in the bottom left is the only one lit, which in this case is right here. Uh, so now let's take a look. So with yellow, how do we work with this one? So yellow, if an LED is yellow, its correct state is the state that is, uh, in the LED's position, 
uh, in the picture to the right of the initial tape looping around necessary. Now, it's very similar with green, it's just that it's going to be to the left. Very simple. So, uh, the one that is to the right in the top position, in this case is going to be over here, is on. Next up for the reds, the reds are above or below. All three of these are on, so in this case, everything is going to be on. Just like that, this is all very simple mod to do. I'm glad I got a couple examples to show you off how all of these, these cases work. But overall, that's all you really need to do for that. As always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to stay crazy, stay cool, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>